On July 11th, the Russell 2000 Small Cap Index began a rally that had it up almost 12% in just five days. In the same time period, the Nasdaq lost approximately 4%. Now, the conspicuous beginning of this historic move was triggered by a better than expected CPI number on the 11th that seemed to bolster the notion that interest rates, particularly short end, were going lower soon. For some perspective, the small caps in the Russell are up to three times more likely to use floating debt for financing than their larger cap counterparts, which makes them extremely rate sensitive. But that's only half the story. Market positioning may have been a big factor in pushing this outsized move. For the last 18 months, it's been believed that a common trade was to short the Russell and buy the NASDAQ, particularly stocks associated with AI within the NASDAQ. The trade worked well as the Russell suffered from the headwinds of higher rates and higher inflation and the Nasdaq benefited from the tailwind of evolving technology. When the story changed, the Russell began to move higher, causing the need for the massive short positions to cover. The lingering question now is, are the recent moves in the Russell, and to the lesser extent the Nasdaq, just the product of short covering and long liquidation, or could the move draw new money off the sidelines to provide the fuel for the next leg of the move?